Have you ever been convicted of any sexual no. crime? No. Have you ever been charged with any sexual crime? No. Have you ever been arrested for any sexual crime? No. So you have never been arrested, charged, indicted, convicted? There's, there's never been no. anything whatsoever? No. So anything to suggest otherwise would just be simply false? Correct. These women in Israel that said they filed a police report and eight years later you found out that they had not, they could have done so if they felt like they had a claim at the time. Correct. And they did not do so. And there was nothing there, you nor anyone else, to persuade them not to. You were gone. They could have filed a claim and they did not. That's correct. And you've never been convicted of any other crime? No. Or charged with any other crime? No. What is it that you want to make sure people know? You know, anyone who feels that I've in any way hurt them at any time in life, I'm prepared to sit down with them one-on-one -on -one or in a mediated context and create closure and create whatever responsibility or mutual responsibility fact-checking is needed right, to create closure. Number two, I've never sexually harassed anyone in my life. Right? The complaints in Israel were false. Number three, right, I take full responsibility for the early mistakes right, from my youth. I take full responsibility for them. Having said that, the accounts that have been put forth by Judy and Sarah are, let me say it again, absolutely false. They're categorically false. They never happened. I threw up when I read them. They're not true. And four, you know, maybe the most important thing is I think we actually have to stand against internet abuse. There's got to be responsibility for internet abuse, the nature of our culture. And that matters to me. But those aren't to me words. That's what I, what I stand for, what I'm alive for, right? to try and create a better world. Right? And if we can't fix that, right? if we can't create a culture in which, which you don't get, the internet becomes a tabloid, but it doesn't say any place that it's a tabloid. And the pain and suffering is enormous to my children, to my family, to my circle, right? So I want to stand in full responsibility. I want to stand in what's completely not true. And I want to stand for the evolution of public culture. And thank you for your time. All right, appreciate it. Thank you.